The Lockheed Martin SR-72, colloquially referred to the Son of Blackbird, is an American hypersonic UAV concept intended for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. ISR proposed privately in 2013 by Lockheed Martin as a successor to the retired Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. The company expected an SR-72 test vehicle could fly by 2025. The SR-71 Blackbird was retired by the USAF in 1998, leaving a potential coverage gap between surveillance satellites, crewed aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, ISR and STREG missions. With the growth of anti-satellite weapons, anti-access-slash-area denial tactics, and counter-stealth technologies, it was thought that high-speed aircraft could penetrate protected airspace and observe or strike a target before enemies could detect or intercept it. The proposed reliance on extremely high speed to penetrate defended airspace is considered a significant conceptual departure from the emphasis on stealth and fifth-generation jet fighter programs and projected drone developments. Unconfirmed reports about the SR-72 date back to 2007, when various sources disclosed that Lockheed Martin was developing an airplane able to fly six times the speed of sound or Mach 6, 4,000 mph, 6,400 km h 3,500 km for the United States Air Force. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works development work on the SR-72 was first published by Aviation Weekend, Space Technology on 1 November 2013. Public attention to the news was large enough to overwhelm the Aviation Week servers. To attain its design speeds, Lockheed Martin has been collaborating with Aerojet Rocketdyne since 2006 on an appropriate engine. The company is developing the system from the scramjet powered HDV3X, which was cancelled in 2008. The SR-72 is envisioned with an air-breathing hypersonic propulsion system that has the ability to accelerate from standstill to Mach 6 using the same engine, making it about twice as fast as the SR-71. The challenge is to design an engine to encompass the flight regimes of subsonic, supersonic and hypersonic speeds. Using turbine compression, turbojet engines can work at zero speed and usually perform best up to Mach 2.2. Ramjets using aerodynamic compression with subsonic combustion, perform poorly under Mach 0.5 and are most efficient around Mach 3, being able to go up to around Mach 6. The SR-71 specially designed engines converted to low-speed ramjets by redirecting the airflow around the core and into the afterburner for speeds greater than Mach 2.5. Finally, scramjets with supersonic combustion cover the range of high supersonic to hypersonic speeds. The SR-72 is to use a turbine-based combined cycle, TBCC system to use a turbine engine at low speeds and a scramjet engine at high speeds. The turbine and ramjet engines share common inlet and nozzle, but with separate airflow paths. <laughs> at speeds of Mach 5 and above, aerodynamic heating creates temperatures hot enough to melt conventional metallic airframes, so engineers are considering composites such as high-performance carbon, ceramic, and metal mixes for fabrication of critical components. Such composites have been used in intercontinental ballistic missiles and the retired space shell. As of May 2015, the SR-72 was envisioned as an ISR and strike platform. But no payloads were specified, likely because current payloads would be insufficient on an aircraft flying at Mach 6 up to 80,000 feet, 24,400 m high requiring hundreds of miles to turn. New sensors and weapons would likely have to be created specifically to operate at such speeds. In November 2013, Construction of an optionally piloted scale demonstrator was planned to start in 2018. The demonstrator was to be about 60 FT, 18 M long, about the size of a Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, and powered by one full-scale engine to fly for several minutes at Mach 6. SR-72 flight testing was planned to follow the timeline for the hypersonic high-speed strike weapon.
The SR72 is to be similar in size to the SR71 at over 100 FT, 30M long and have the same range, with entry into service by 2030. The SR-72 follows the U.S. Air Force's hypersonic roadmap for developing a hypersonic strike weapon by 2020 and a penetrating ISR aircraft by 2030. At the time of the concept's unveiling, Lockheed Martin had engaged in talks with government officials but has not secured funding for the demonstrator or engine. In 2013, it was reported that the SR-72 may face significant challenges to being accepted by the Air Force, as they are opting to develop the Northrop Grumman RQ-180 stealth UAV to perform the task of conducting ISR missions in contested airspace. Compared to the SR-72, the RQ-180 is less complex to design and manufacture, is less prone to problems with the acquisition, and could enter service as soon as 2015.